Former President Donald Trump shot at an attempted assassination at a rally. Absolutely shocking event that occurred. First of all, I want to wish the former president, Donald Trump, a speedy recovery and all the best. And secondly, I hope whoever did this gets caught quickly and is brought to justice. Now, the internet has been reacting to this throughout the last hour and a bit. Just shortly after the assassination attempt, Elon Musk posted this onto his ex account saying, I fully endorse President Trump and hope for his rapid recovery and then shared this 12 second video in the immediate aftermath of the shooting. You can actually see the blood on Donald Trump's face and watch this here, Donald Trump does a fist pump. This is probably gonna be a very iconic video for a long time to come, but we'll play it here. Other people have been reacting online as well, including former Democratic President Barack Obama with a statement here. There's absolutely no place for political violence in our democracy. Although we do not know yet exactly what happened, we should all be relieved that former President Trump wasn't seriously hurt and use this moment to recommit ourselves to stability and respect in our politics. Michelle and I are wishing him a quick recovery. So I think that's a great statement by former President Barack Obama in the aftermath of this. And when I started making this video, current President Joe Biden hadn't even made a statement yet, which is incredible. Dave Portnoy here of Barstool points that out. Obama, the comment I just read, beat Biden to a comment. What a world. Now, Joe Biden has since made a statement but I don't know why it took him so long, but I'll show a statement in a second here. But here's Dave Portnoy talking about, at the time, Joe Biden had not made a statement yet. And to that point, where is Joe Biden? Like, we're saying less division. Joe Biden tweets his intern, whoever, 3,000 times during the debate. He's always tweeting Gavin. He's the president of the United States, a former president. The guy's gonna run against for president just got his ears shot off in an assassination attempt. I was flying, it's been an hour and a half, crickets from the White House. What? You're the president of the United States. What are you doing? You have to react, whether it's an assassination attempt, a terrorist attack, whatever it may be. An hour and a half, crickets, nothing. What is Joe Biden doing? Now here's Joe Biden's post on X. He says, I've been briefed on the shooting at Donald Trump's rally in Pennsylvania. I'm grateful to hear that he is safe and doing well. I'm praying for him and his family and for those who are were at the rally as we await further information. Jill and I are grateful to the Secret Service for getting him to safety. There's no place for this kind of violence in America. We must unite as one nation to condemn it. And then the first reply I wanna show here, because I guess this could be maybe to Joe Biden's defense, I guess. Probs, this person, Dan Perkins, probs want to get all the info about it before making a statement. I guess, but I agree with Dave Portnoy that he should have made this an hour sooner. Like, even if you don't have all the information, put out a statement just wishing Donald Trump the best or con certainly condemning what happened here. This shooting at Donald Trump's rally is absolutely unacceptable and terrible. In another shocking development which has happened since this assassination attempt, Elon Musk posted this to his ex-account, quoting the, uh, the account End Wokeness. Elon Musk says, the head of the Secret Service and the leader of this security detail should resign. End Wokeness says, breaking, eyewitness tells BBC that he informed police Secret Service about a suspicious, a suspicious man on a roof with a rifle. He was ignored. So we walked up in probably five to seven minutes of Trump speaking. I'm estimating here. I have no idea, you know, but... Um, we noticed the guy crawling, arm, you know, bear crawling up the roof of the building beside us, 50, 50 feet away from us. So we're standing there, you know, we're pointing, we're pointing at the guy crawling up the roof. And he had a gun, right? He had a rifle. A rifle. We could clearly see him with a rifle. Absolutely. Um, we're pointing at him. The police are down there running around on the ground. We're like, hey, man, there's a guy on the roof with a rifle. And the police were like, huh, what? You know, like, like they didn't know what was going on. You know, we're like, hey, right here on the roof. We can see him from right here. We see him. You know, he's, he's crawling. And next thing you know, I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, why is Trump still speaking? Why have they not pulled him off the stage? I'm standing there pointing at him for, you know, two, three minutes. Secret Service is looking at us from the top of the barn. I'm pointing at that roof, just standing there like this. And next thing you know... Five shots ring out. So you're, you're certain that the shots came from that guy on the roof? 
hundred percent. And he he was up there for a couple of minutes. He was up you there. You saw him up there for a couple of minutes. Absolutely, at least three and to four were, minutes. And you were telling yep. the police in the Secret Service. We were telling the police. We were pointing at him for the Secret Service, who were looking at us from the top of the barn. They were looking at us the whole time when we were standing by that tree. Could they see binoculars? Him? Could they see him? Probably not, because the roof, the way the, the slope went, he was behind where they could see. But but why is there not Secret Service on all of these roofs here? I mean, this is not a big place. Did you see, I mean, obviously everyone, when the shooting started, everyone was very panicked. Did, oh, you, uh, did you see what happened to him at all? Oh, yeah, they blew off. You, okay, sorry. Secret Service blew off. Okay, we just be careful because we don't quite know who's watching, but you, you're pretty sure they, they, they shot the guy? Absolutely, 100%. Uh, okay. Yep. You, you saw that happen? Yep, yep. Okay. Yep. And did you see them go up to him afterwards or...? They, yeah, they crawled up on the roof. They had their guns pointed at him, make sure he was dead. He was dead, and that was it. It was over. So obviously the story from this eyewitness will be investigated in the days to come, probably even the hours to come. Another thing I want to cover here, because you could really make like an hour-long video with all the reactions that are coming out, but I'm just going to cover one or two more here. Um, from Clay Travis, he makes the point that people need to stop calling Trump Hitler. Some left-wing lunatic was going to try to take him out. It's unfucking acceptable that this could happen in the United States, that we could have a situation where all these fucking left-wing lunatics who have tried to call him Hitler. So I totally agree that people need to stop calling Trump Hitler. It's completely ridiculous. First of all, you sound like an idiot. But the other thing, you're turning the political temperature up way high. Some idiot, like this shooter, is going to actually start to believe this crap. And I would even go like, it's not just Hitler, it's... When Trump says, make America great again, he's saying, make America great again, not make America white again. Why throw that on there? Just contend with what he's saying instead of making this bullshit up, make America white again. Now you're going to get a bunch of people to hate it, hate each other. Or in Charlottesville, when he says there's great people on both sides, and then the next sentence condemns the neo-Nazis and the white supremacists. People start need to start covering Donald Trump way more honestly and stop with this bullshit that things are dog whistles. So stop calling him Hitler. Stop just making up, oh, he's dog whistling. He says this, make America great again, actually means make America white again. People need to be way more honest, way more responsible with how they talk about Donald Trump. So wrapping up here, I said at the beginning of the video, I hope the person that did this is caught quickly and brought to justice. Apparently that person has been shot and they are now dead. That's been reported multiple times. Again, I can't confirm that 100%, but that's what's being reported on X. So wrapping up, as I said, I want to wish Donald Trump the best, as well as anyone at that rally that's potentially injured in this terrible event. This is a tweet from uh, Donald Trump Jr. He'll never stop fighting to save America. And then this picture of Donald Trump with his hand in the air, you can see like, the blood on his cheek and his face. This could go down as legitimately one of the most iconic photos in American history.